My name is Dr. Leo Merle, and I'm from Folsom, California. I came to the University of Michigan in 2020, and I just graduated with my DDS this last May, 2024. My first couple years of running uh, was not a fan. I don't know why I chose it. And then my sophomore year of high school, I got plantar fasciitis, so I couldn't run uh, for six months. After that, I realized how much I actually really enjoyed it. I had ran through high school, I'd ran through college, and then in my junior year of college, I found out about adaptive sports and the Paralympics and para-athletics in general. So I have a form of hemiplegic cerebral palsy that affects my right side, mainly affects my right leg, but not my right arm as much. And I remember watching a YouTube video for the 2012 London Olympic Games, watching those guys run, I was like, you know, they run a lot like how I do, I'll tell you. So I've been participating in adaptive sports for about four years now. Once I actually got to the university, I was actually really prepared to just kind of throw myself to the process and train on my own. One evening, I was coming back from studying at the library and it was February and Ann Arbor Hills with ice, <laughs> not the best combination. And I pulled my Achilles, go to the UHS, go to the physical therapy and we meet the physical therapist, her name is Rose. You know, went through the whole health history, let her know about what's going on. She's like, have you reached out to the adaptive program here at the school? I was like, I didn't know there was one since then. All because I pulled an Achilles on a sheet of ice, I have been involved in the adaptive program here at the University of Michigan. And since then, watching the program grow has been an amazing experience. I mean, every year it has gotten bigger and bigger. There are so many different types of athletes. We have everything from invisible disability like myself all the way to wheelchair users. So regardless of your disability or what you feel, there's absolutely a place for you on this team. I had my heart shattered uh, back in 2020 because going into the Tokyo trials, I actually pulled everything in my left leg. I still ran those trials and I was able to make the alternate team, uh, but I was so broken by the whole experience. I felt like, you know, I put all this effort in, put all this time in and just, just miss it by, you know, this much. And I said, okay, I have three years. I have two world championships and a Pan American games before Paris. So my goal is to make every single one of those teams. And if I can do that, I can go to Paris. I know I can make it. I hit all of my milestones that I wanted to hit. So making the Paris team, getting the team announcement and getting my name called was a complete sigh of relief. Knowing that I'm going and knowing that, you know, Paris is waiting for me and I'm waiting for Paris. <laughs> there's kind of this mix of excitement. It's not even like I'm scared to compete at this stage. It's that I know I'm ready to compete at this stage.